so did you guys quit the job that you had before? Did you work on the new company concurrently? How did you balance uh, that? I did, yeah, so I probably was working on Waxon for a year, year and a half before I actually opened our first location, close to almost to two years actually. Um, and so I probably did like almost a year or just under, like eight, 10 months um, in my still management consulting job. I was working for myself in management consulting also, so that was a benefit. <laughs> um, and then switched over to full time once I really knew that this was something that, you know, I'd worked at the numbers, I had done the research and knew it was something that I wanted to move forward with um, and, and then went for it. So did you quit uh, before or after you opened your first? Before, before, so probably almost a year before. And then worked full time. Like I knew that I, I wasn't gonna open just one wax on. Like that wasn't ever my goal. So I worked a lot and our team worked a lot on like building our training programs, our policies and procedures and finding the best wax, like literally sitting there um, with like wax strips all over our body of different types of wax to see like redness, irritation, pain, all those things to make sure that we were bringing in the best products, um, training our, you know, waxologists the best and so that we were gonna offer the best wax experience. Yeah. Yeah, so we probably started talking about doing it in the fall, like maybe November, December, and then uh, it was, I think, Paul's earnout kind of ended around the beginning of April. So that was the timing that, that worked for everyone. As an investment banker, you want to be employed in January um, to, to get your bonus. And so I was kind of ready to go then. Um, so yeah, we started, I think my last day was like March 30th and my first day was like April 3rd. So took a weekend off and, and got to it. And uh, yeah, I think it's hard to, it's hard to move the move the ball down the field enough um, if you're not doing it full time and you're still getting the salary from someone else. Um, and I don't know how fair it is to your current employee. As an employer, I'd be pretty frustrated if I found out that someone was doing something else on, on my dime. Um, so I think it was just the, the, the right thing to do from that perspective, but also from getting you know getting something off the ground and, and putting yourself into it. You really got to jump in two feet and. There's a lot of times when if you're not in it all the way, it'd be easy to quit. Uh, but if you don't have a choice, then yeah. you keep going. Mike? Yeah, I took maybe the opposite. I did the moonlighting thing a little bit. And um, yeah, and I did also, I did disclose to who I was working with at the time. I was working in oil and gas in Calgary when I first started testing products on things. Uh, but the moonlighting helped in terms of just actually paying a wage because early days that you don't really make any money, you're kind of just testing and you're spending money, so um, so that helped uh, for sure. <laughs>